In this video, I'm going to tell you how laser hair removal works. Hi guys, welcome to this video. My name is Caroline Hooper, Certified Laser Specialist. Today I'm going to be chatting to you guys about laser hair removal and how it works. If you've not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe and make sure to tap the bell for notifications on more videos as I put out videos every single day informing you of um, pros and cons in the aesthetic industry, what to watch out for and what to do before you spend any of your time and money on any services or treatments. There's a lot of misleading information out there when it comes to how laser hair removal works. So stay tuned in this video to find out exactly how laser hair removal works. I'm gonna try and explain it in as simple terms as possible for you to understand without going too technical. So guys, I have a question for you. Have you ever been misled when having laser hair removal done? Because I know a lot of people do. Leave them in the comments below if you have. So laser hair removal, how does it work? It's a very popular question and I want to explain it to you in a way that it's simplified and basic rather than going too technical so that you don't understand, um, but in a way that you can understand how it actually works. So there is a basic principle beh behind the theory of laser hair removal and how it works and that is selective photothermolysis. Now, I know that sounds like a really big word, but I'm gonna break it down for you now so you understand exactly what that means. So the first word there is selective. So when we say selective, that means um, we're selecting a target. So when it comes to removing hair, our target is obviously the hair. So when it comes to treating hair with a laser device, we're selecting a chromophore and the chromophore for laser hair removal is melanin, which is the pigment in your hair and we're targeting the melanin in your hair shaft. So selective, next word being photo. Photo being what we're using. So we're sending in light, the laser is amplified light. So that's being admitted into your skin and we're penetrating the energy through by light. The third one then is, so it's selective photo thermo. Thermo is the, the heat, the heat that's generated from the device into the skin down to reach the base of the hair shaft in order to, the third word, lysis, lysis being destruction. So all we're doing is we're selecting a target, we're sending in the light, which generates the heat and then it causes destruction. So selective photothermal lysis damages your hair. So when you're considering to have laser hair removal done, it's important that you have a consultation and an assessment of the hair to make sure that the hair is firstly suitable for laser. And how this is determined is by your skin color, um, the hair color, and also the hair thickness. So there's three indicators that we're looking for. And when we do a patch test on a consultation, we're identifying the adequate levels for treatment to make sure that we're gonna see a result um, for achieving a result on the hair in the area that you're choosing to have treated. So once we have determined the hair suitability, then you're into treatment. And how laser is going to destroy the hair that's suitable for treatment, which has already been assessed, is it's gonna deliver that energy down to the base of the hair shaft and it's gonna destroy the hair from then. And how it does this is we're heating the hair up to above 70 degrees temperature and that's gonna cause destruction to the hair shaft. So that hair, that hair shaft doesn't grow another hair follicle. So we have this continuous cycle of a hair follicle which grows from your hair shaft. And your hair grows in three stages. So when you're having laser hair removal treatments done, we need to get that hair in the first stage of growth for it to be an effective treatment and to permanently destroy that hair and to make that hair shaft dormant. Now what's really important is to understand the device that you're using to have um, treatment of laser hair removal. It's important that you're being treated with an actual laser and not to confuse it with an IPL. I'm not going to get into the differences between both now but we have done videos in the past explaining the differences between IPL and lasers so if you haven't yet chosen what laser you're going to choose to be treated with definitely go and check that video out. I'm going to leave it in the link below. So lasers um, safely bypass the melanin content in your skin and that's how they can target the, the melanin content contained in your hair shaft. And depending on what laser that you're choosing to have treatment with, will determine on how many skin types that we can safely treat um, with this mechanism. Diode lasers can treat all skin types. Alexandride lasers can treat a skin type one to three. So if you're darker skinned, you need to be looking towards having a diode laser um, to treat your hair because that's where we're going to bypass the melanin content contained in your epidermis of your skin, which is the superficial area of your skin. 
and that's why it's really important that you have an informed consultation to go through all of these indications to make sure that you are going to have a safe effective and successful um, laser hair removal treatments. So once you commence a course of laser hair removal, because you do need to do a course of laser hair removal, it's not all gonna happen in one treatment because we are reliant on your hair cycle and it's not all gonna be in the first stage of growth on the first visit. It would be great if it was because it means we would only have to do one treatment. But a course of treatments is what it entails. And as each session goes on, the area, the hair in the area is going to reduce significantly on every single treatment until eventually you have upwards of 90% reduction on the area. Laser hair removal would be one of our most um, popular treatments across all of our three clinics. We launched our business with high-speed laser hair removal and um, how the laser works that we use is it comes with a vacuum assist technology. So there's big bonuses that comes with this for our clients and also for us because you as a client have in treatment with high-speed laser hair removal where it has vacuum assist technology built into the device. It means that it's pulling your hair follicle closer to the laser, so the intensity of the heat isn't as aggressive um, on the skin, so you're feeling less pain dur during treatment and it's actually virtually pain-free, to be honest with you. And it's a diode laser, so it's an 810 nanometer wavelength, which is the most ideal depth of penetration in order to kill hairs. And that's another factor that you should consider when having laser hair removal is the depth in which the laser can travel. The most ideal depth to be at is between 790 nanometers to 830 nanometers is where the melanin is most present in the hair shaft. And a diode laser is the laser that would hit that more specifically. So I just wanted to touch on the few things that you need to understand when having laser hair removal done and how it actually works. So I hope this video has helped you to understand that. Um, if it did, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. We put up videos every single day, educating you on what's out there in the aesthetic industry, a lot based on hair removal, and what to know, what to avoid, all the pros and cons. So make sure to subscribe and like this video, and make sure to tap the bell for notifications on new videos coming up, and as always, feel beautiful, be happy, confidence is key.